how to effectively mitigate risk because of the rising number of sophistication of the cyber security challenges how can we mitigate those risks so activities you reduce or eliminate human error it's a sad fact that most threats that cripple a business are enabled by employees who fall for phishing scams click links to malicious and compromised sites and respond to spam spam organization needs to enrich every employee's knowledge at the very least to make sure they don't unwarily become a cyber crime a complice doing so is important to avoid putting the safety of individuals and companies at significant risk create an incident response plan prevention is better than a cure especially when it comes to cyber security organizations need to use tools that are ready for threats before these can break their defenses so to effectively mitigate the risk brought on by the three cyber security challenges presented above organization need to at least a constant increase in phishing websites at least reduce eliminate human error as uh, we mentioned the phishing scams so what activities do we need to do reduce or eliminate human error it's a sad fact that most threats that cripple a business are enabled by employee who fall for phishing scams click links to malicious or compromised sites or respond to spam a constant increase in phishing website was seen in the first quarter of 2019 from 48663 in january to 50983 in february 50983 in march we may see the same trend in the future as the use continues to work against the customer of even the biggest brand now the second is organization needs to enrich every employee's knowledge at least business email compromise attacks that prey on the level of trust users support to coworkers especially corporate head hunters will continue to rake in billions of threat actors over time until victims stop taking the bait headlines are bound to get worse as long as employee lack security awareness so create an incident response plan organization needs to detect and contain an attack because it causes irreparable damage on way of doing this is through amazing and correlating threat intelligence so businesses to ensure their network are security resilient so resilience in this regard refers to the entity's ability to return to its original states after a security attack or a breach occurs mitigation is easier said than done however most companies still suffer from breaches despite all caution measures need to be put in place to cover attack prevention detection containment and remediation data encryption is another layer of protection that companies especially those that don't want to end up paying extra exorbitant breach settlement fines can utilize so encrypt the data all organizations are prime breach target any company can become a victim despite all security efforts regardless of circumstances tied to an incident one thing is sure any piece of stolen encrypted data is no you value to the thieves third one is the quickest solution is ai so cyber security skill gap is there one person to work a lot of things now we can use the artificial intelligence to combat this problem the only caveat being that one person needs to become highly skilled security expert who can quickly assess strategy address threat again a problem so ai is the solution for that now in the conclusion what we can say organizations can't rely on technology alone nor they can do everything on their own this instance is where outsourcing can be useful reduce gaps in security patching can be hassle but is unfortunately necessary if an organization is stay is to stay safe from threats make sure the patches you apply on an application will not cause another to stop operating and list the help of most knowledgeable users or systems and application when patching the risk 
analysis for every vulnerability allows an organization to prioritize patching for those that present more significant dangers. Testing a patch before actual implementation reduces errors that may arise due to incompatibility and rich threat intelligence probably the most critical element of cybersecurity is knowing as much about threats as possible to ensure protection against them and so adding members to their security team they can augment their internal resources with those of the security service providers they can they only need to make sure that they choose the right ones for their specialized requirements there are ways to make the activity less tedious following a simple process is one to go about this the more dependencies there are among system and application the tougher patches can be maintain a regularly updated list of all of the applications and system used throughout your network you can't protect something that's not on your list the process will be much faster and smoother if experts users are involved as uh, this distribute the effort and minimize errors that can arise from lack of knowledge on how systems and application work so these are the additional um steps companies can um, follow and yeah a few more the bigger the risk bug poses the higher it should be on the vulnerability teams to do list so the process takes more time than applying the fix itself so organizations need to ensure that patches won't cause application or system to break when applied to avoid network you need to know what you're doing up against if you are to figure out a way to address a threat the only way an organization can do that is by enhancing its th threat intelligence companies need to gather as much as information as possible where a threat comes from how it gets into network who is behind it and so on before they can address it or and take action at the end of the day though not all data may prove useful it does pay to utilize all available resources to come up with the most effective security strategies to ensure overall network protection surviving amid an ever changing threat landscapes require huge investment on the organization's part reactive defense is unfortunately no longer enough a proactive instance towards security is more critical than ever that requires staying abreast of cyber attack developments investing in security in engaging third parties if possible if necessary and gathering actionable threat intelligence that's it from me thank you so much